Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello! So today is our bucket list video of our recent Disneyland Paris trip. That yes. was in October. Was October. It was Halloween. Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, we really enjoyed that trip and thank you so much for watching all of the vlogs. Um, hopefully we will have a new trip series out soon. Um, but we absolutely loved that Halloween trip. It was so much fun. And uh, we did quite a lot that we hadn't done before. Helen's actually been back. I have been back since and uh, you've been posting some mini, mini vlogs, vlogs on uh, your Instagram. Yeah, so this is my work trip, um, well it's not a work trip, <laughs> <laughs> I wish, <laughs> that would be good if work uh, paid for us to go to Disneyland Paris, yeah. um, but no, this was a trip with my friends from work, um, but it was amazing, it was a girls trip, there were 11 of us and we had the best time, um, some of the girls it was their first time ever at a Disney park, ever. Uh, so that was amazing to like see it all for the first time through their eyes yeah. and yeah it was a really special trip um and it was really nice to sorry martin share it with friends of course i miss martin uh, but it was so lovely to kind <laughs> of share that experience with them and yeah it was something we'll all remember forever yeah and yeah i've made some mini vlogs uh, which i've put on to my instagram so head there if you want to have a look and then because it's quite a large group of you, you're thinking of maybe doing a video on like a big group going. Yeah, let me know if you're interested in that. I know some people go to Disney in like really big groups and that was my first taster of that. Um, we'd never done that before. The biggest group we've done is five, mm. uh, which is when we went with my parents and brother. Yeah. Um, well, that was Walt Disney World. Walt Disney it? World. But yeah, I could do a video with a few little tips if you are going in a large group, um, because I did quite a lot of the planning when it came to the park days mm -hmm. and what we were going to do. So yeah, I can do that video. If someone would be interested, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we're going to talk about uh, how many did we? We had 10. 10. We had 10 uh, things from our bucket list to complete, and I've actually forgotten them. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know if we completed it so this is going to be a surprise for us as well uh, I don't think we did I think there was one oh. that, that really sticks out in oh, my mind oh yeah I remember now <laughs> and I still didn't see them no uh, oh yeah <laughs> on the latest on trip, the latest trip. No. No. well you were very busy on the latest one <laughs> uh, so number one was a ride the rides at Adventures Campus so that's uh, Spider-Man Web Adventure which we kept calling Web Slingers Dick. <laughs> and Avengers Assemble Flight Force Dick yeah. so we managed to ride did we ride them twice rode them both twice yeah, yeah. the uh, Spider-Man Web Adventure we rode at, like at the end of the park days mm -hmm. Because um, somebody gave that tip where they say that the line's a lot longer mm -hmm. and we joined it. Than it is. Uh, and what was it? I think we only queued about half an hour. Yeah, half an hour, something like that, yeah. I think it was advertised at an hour mm. or 50 minutes or something. And I think we only queued for half an hour, if that. Am I dreaming? Was one of them 10 minutes? Oh, one of them is really fast. Yeah. Yeah, one of them was only 10 minutes. And then I think the other time is half an hour. It's a little bit Something longer. like that. Yeah. But yeah, I loved that ride uh spider-man web adventure i said in the vlogs it's like living out a childhood dream it's very cool <laughs> it's very high tech as well uh, when i went on it again recently i really looked out um to like how reactive it was oh it's so and good. it really is yeah like you can actually see i mean if where you... the web goes <laughs> if you like are taking your time yeah you can really <laughs> aim like, if you ah! want, but uh, I don't think that's the best way. Well, it might be the best way to get points actually. Yeah, I don't know because the spiders there's... are different points, aren't they? Yeah, so I feel like if you go slow, but you get a really high scoring spider, <laughs> like that, that would be better that. than going like that and just getting all of the low scoring ones. <laughs> I love that everyone does the does the the hand. Doesn't yeah, it? you have to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then flight force, yeah, we rode that twice. Yeah, uh, we rode that during the day. Uh, it never really well a few times it had uh, long waits yeah, but most of the time it wasn't that busy um and i mean amazing animatronic of yeah. iron man and i loved all the the queue and the mm -hmm. video screens and all that sort of stuff yeah no i really enjoyed flight force i loved rock and roller coaster as a roller coaster and it's still the same like roller coaster mm -hmm. yeah. um so i loved it as a ride and i am excited to see what they add to it if they add to it i'm not sure if, that mean, was a rumor yeah so we heard that they were going to be closing it in january but mm -hmm. then the more research i've done uh it's like a rumor yeah so I don't actually know whether they are doing anything else maybe it is just a rumor i think they could add more i 
to be honest, I think I miss rock and roller coaster. <laughs> I I just thought the music and the lights and everything. <laughs> I loved. I love rock and roller coaster. And I think they could add more to the actual roller coaster. Um, but yeah, we'll see if they do, or they might just leave it. Number two, we've just we've just written down. This is how <laughs> underprepared we were, and we didn't know what anything was. We just written down the Amazing Spider Man. So that was to see <laughs> Spider Man. Well, we really massive tick for that one because we actually met Spider Man. Uh, we did the virtual queue, and we met him in the Hero Training Center, mm-hmm. and it was probably. Probably the best meet and greet I've ever had. Really? It was really, Ooh. really good. Mm, that and Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. Um, that was, it was a really, really good meet it and greet. It was good. He was good at interacting and uh, I just laughed non-stop and it gave me uh, sort of the feeling of when I met Woody and Buzz mm-hmm. oh, yeah, at that Walt was Disney World um, and I think I had the same sort of expression when I hugged Spider-Man <laughs> as when I met Woody. <laughs> we don't tend to meet talking characters, so... I feel like for us to really love the meet and greet of a talking character, it has to be a really good one. And like, they just made us feel so comfortable yeah. and it was really, really good. Well, yeah, we do get a little bit nervous, um, but I think, you know, maybe we've broken a bit of ground there. Maybe yeah. we might meet I some more. I was really impressed by the whole situation. So you join a virtual queue, um, which means you don't have to actually physically queue. And then when we went in, there was no one before us. There was a lot of people waiting to meet the other Marvel yeah. character, but no one before us. So we literally went straight through, uh, met Spider-Man. It was a really long meet and greet. Like We yeah. chatted to him for ages. We got about five or six photos. Yeah. The whole thing was just really well organised. And make sure you jump on the virtual queue. Right, right at the time it opens. <laughs> But yeah, and then not only that, so we we met Spider Man, then we saw Spider Man in the stunt show, mm-hmm. then we saw Spider Man. I think this is what we were referring to, yeah. is up when the up the top of Web Adventure, and we caught him up there yeah. doing some uh, acrobatics and stuff. Three times, <laughs> pretty good going. Oh, go on then. So this... number three, oh, <laughs> we've fallen at the third hurdle. This was to see the Warriors of Wakanda. I don't think they're out that much because we didn't manage to see them on my most recent trip. We didn't see them either. So I don't know when they're on. I've heard mixed reports. I've heard, I think it was Katie from uh, Our Wilding Adventure said that maybe they saw them in the morning or something. Yeah. Going in. We did tend to go to Avengers Campus in the evening because it was a lot quieter. But then I have heard that they're around in the afternoon. So I'm not entirely (laughs) sure. We just never managed to see them. Um, Yeah. So if anyone does know the exact times or whether they change each day, maybe they don't come out every day. I don't know. I mean, we did but... manage to see, like, the people who came out at the same time each day when we were there was Thor and Loki. They mm-hmm. were always out at the same time. And then the half six was about, uh, was the dance party. The dance party. Yeah, we just never saw them. And I'm <laughs> really gutted because that looked really cool. And, yeah, well, I mean, we'll be back. So I'm sure we'll see, that, see it at some point. Well, add it. We just move it from this yeah. list onto another. <laughs> Number four was to watch Mickey's Halloween celebration. So this was the parade, <laughs> which we did. We watched it a few times, three times in total. Yeah. The first time we watched it um, at Think, the start of Main Street. Didn't realise. Or... Didn't realise it went... Well, I forgot that yeah. it went on the stages. Um, so we watched it from there. Then we watched it in the middle bit so that we could see the stages. Probably my favourite place to watch it. Yeah. And well, then... The first time we watched it, it was like Clarabel and uh, who else was up on there? But I, I distinctly remember Clarabel yeah. being up there. Was it, oh, it must have been Horace. Was Horace up there as well? Yeah, I think so, actually. And then the third time, that was with Katie and Dean. Yeah. So we met them and then we watched um, from the same space. At, oh, no. no we watched we it moved from over. two places. We watched yeah. it from the same space. Um, and then we moved over to see the Phantom and then we walked through the arcade yes. and then we caught the end again. So, <laughs> so we managed to see it from areas. loads of different areas. <laughs> really good parade. I loved all of the floats. My favourite one was the Mickey one because he goes into like the... It's like a haunted house. It's Phantom Manor. Is it actually Phantom yeah, Manor? It's Phantom he goes Manor. into Phantom Manor and then he appears in different outfits. Really clever. And then obviously you have the Phantom Manor um, you have you got the phantom name. you got the phantom you got Melanie Melanie yeah. and um, yeah it's a really really good parade I didn't realise they were so good at dancing <laughs> so that's, uh, that's something to mention to him next time he we go through quite phantom a stern phantom. face didn't he he did what well, I did like he did laugh he looks a bit better in real life compared he laughed to the ride. <laughs> during the actual show as well though because <laughs> he's the happy chappy phantom <laughs> 
And that's a phantom fact. (laughs) (laughs) Number five was to watch Nightfall with Disney villains. And the funny thing is, is we thought it was on it uh, 940. No. But we've actually written here 950. Yeah. That's (laughs) it. (laughs) Um, So we wrote down the time and we still got it wrong. Uh But we did manage to see it. And we watched from uh, Discoveryland. Yes. Because we just think sometimes there's a bit more space Mm -hmm. around that area. Um, so yeah, we watched it from there. There was some projections on the castle with some Disney villains, like Cruella driving a car and mm-hmm. um, they others, had the like Earth song. And stuff. I've forgotten how it goes now. Uh, uh, um, wicked! Wicked! <laughs> wicked! <laughs> and some fire. Uh, there weren't that many fireworks no. involved in that one, but I think that's because obviously you had illuminations mm-hmm. coming up after it, so you needed to use those ones. Yeah, no, we enjoyed it. It was nice to have a different aspect to the nighttime uh, displays and obviously it fit in really well with Halloween mm-hmm. um, we just weren't completely sold on the song I think we said that in the vlog um, I think because are you brave yeah, enough we just love so that song so strong uh, I just love that song I've got a special place in my heart that. yeah uh, but we did enjoy it and I that's something that I'm really impressed by Disney is that I love that they really go full out for their festivals and full out for each time of year. Makes it really special. I think somebody said that if you were stood in front of the castle, then, because they've got the Gardens of Wonder Mm -hmm. and they've got some of the villains out that like, there was light shining on them and stuff. So that was like another thing that added to the the whole event. But yeah, Mm -hmm. because we were over at uh, Discovery Land, we didn't see that. But yeah, it was good to have another thing. So it, it went like, Nightfall Disney Villains, then Disney Delight, then, then Illuminations. Illuminations. I mean, you were standing there for a good, like, half an hour. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's good. Good amount of stuff. Speaking of the villains. <laughs> so, number six was to see the Disney Villains Den. So, we weren't really sure what this was. No. Um, but they set up an area just outside of the castle, that stage area where sometimes they put on outside shows. Um, and it was all decked out Halloweeny, mm-hmm. and I think they bring out different villains onto yes. the stage, and then they come down from the stairs, and then they do a meet and greet. But it's not really like a controlled meet and greet. It's like they just go along the line. Um, and we saw evil stepmother and the two stepsisters, yeah. which was it, they were really funny, really good. Yeah. Uh, we didn't stay for the meet and greet bit, um, but we did watch. They kind of parade round to the music. Um, yeah, before they, do, they like, come uh, down. Hey, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> on the stage to the music to Wicked. <laughs> um, but I saw a lot of people on Instagram actually managed to get some good yeah. photos. Yeah, I think if you wait long enough, then they will take photos with you and sign. They were signing people's autographs. But books. I do like that bit where they just come out. Uh, yeah. I thought that was quite cool. So um, I think, yeah, there was definitely Dr. Facilier mm-hmm. was one of them. Uh, and I'm not sure who else came out, but. That's really good. I always like it when the villains come out to play. Yeah. <laughs> and they're always oh, a bit controversial, but they are fun. I was about to say more fun. <laughs> but they sometimes can be more fun than the goodies. <laughs> Didn't you see a, a Disney villain's spirit jersey? Yeah, that's out now. It's purple. It's like this kind of uh-huh. material. Um, so like a cosy one. And it's uh, purple and then it has fabulously villains of... Some, something like that on the back with Ursula and oh. people it's really good it's a nice one uh, the next one number seven was to to eat either at Super Diner um, or Stark Factory tick we ate at Stark Factory which I definitely think was the best decision after yeah. we looked at them both uh-huh. so thank you for all of your recommendations because lots of people did recommend Stark Factory we really liked it it's really epic anyway the way <laughs> Um, it's all decorated, so you walk in and there is a huge Iron Man. The Hulk there? Buster, yeah. Hulk Buster as you walk in. And then they also have, um, what's her name, Peggy Carter's Peggy Carter. office. Yeah. And it was really, really well done. It was really nice. And what I liked was that you like you grabbed a tray and then you it's picked like up your food. It's like school canteen. <laughs> yeah, and then, uh, it's, well, it fits into the theme of like factory. if you're working at the factory, yeah. yeah. Which I've only just realised. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Are you going to I said or I'm off to get my, my, my lunch at the factory? I didn't twig. <laughs> um, but yeah, we had the pizza and so they had pizza and pasta on offer with like mm-hmm. a few varieties. 
and we decided to do like half and half so we mm-hmm. got pasta and pizza and then a dessert which was based on Thor mm. uh, and then yeah we sat down and then we noticed or I noticed mm. that people had left where you could actually sit at Peggy Carter's desk so we, that was so cool it we sat really at cool. Peggy Carter's desk right name plate was right in front yeah. of us uh, I could pick out all the little Easter eggs yeah, on the you wall. Yeah, watched the whole series. Yeah, and uh, and then out the window we could see all the villains up the top. Oh, the villains! The, the villains, <laughs> the superheroes. The uh, superheroes <laughs> up the top, and then uh, Iron Man going past. It was just fantastic. It was a very very good restaurant. Amazing quick service. Um, I went back on our recent trip, and again, it wasn't oh, that right. busy. Uh-huh. What did you have this time? I had the pizza again. Yeah. But a lot of the girls had the macaroni Mm -hmm. pasta and they really liked that. Yeah. Um, But yeah, I, it wasn't busy. Um, So both times we've been so far, you've managed to get your food really quickly. I think it's quite a quick turnover because they're literally just putting it out and people are just taking it and then you pay separately before you sit down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's quick. It's good. Good. Number eight was, well, this is an easy one, to ride Phantom Manor, which of course we did. <laughs> Said hello to Happy Chappy Phantom. I can't remember how many times we went on Phantom Manor this trip. Not sure. I think at least twice. Twice? Um, but yeah. Classic. Had to be done at Halloween. I think this is the trip we saw it and it said 13 as well. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. The first time. was it, Yeah, I think it was the first time we went on it. It said 13. But the camera didn't pick it up. Oh. You couldn't see it. But uh, I know I know that it said 13. And then on the second time, we saw Cedric, who uh, is, is a <laughs> very well-known cast uh-huh. member who used to work at Tower of Terror. Mm-hmm. And then this like post got uh, dotted around online that he mm-hmm. was moving. <laughs> and then we were like, oh no, I hope he's not leaving. But no, he got moved over to Phantom, Phantom Manor. Manor. Uh, yeah, it was really weird to see him in a different setting. <laughs> of course, he's moved from one scary attraction to another. I think it would be really weird if suddenly he popped up on, like, It's a Small World. <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine that. It was quite a busy uh, turnaround, though, so he didn't have much of a chance to no. do a lot of interactive. Yeah, it's harder for him, because I feel like in Tower of Terror, they have that long bit where they can, like, really play around and... Um, they do that long speech before you get into the elevator. Whereas yeah. I think in Phantom Manor, it's very much My you know, step next, and, next, yeah. next. Um, but he was still really good. <laughs> and Phantom Manor is always fantastic. Yeah. Number nine. Well, we didn't do too well on this, but we did complete it. We did it. do it. We wanted to do better, but they just weren't there. No. Try a Halloween treat. So we tried the Doom Biscuit. Oh, I can't remember what it's called I now. I think we've written it there. Oh, is it right down? Doom. Oh, we did. Well, we, yeah. well, sorry, we had the Doom Burger. Oh, the Doom Burger. That was Cafe Hyperion, wasn't it? Yeah. So we had the Doom Burger and the Apple at Cafe Hyperion. And then we had the... I think it was called Doom again. Doom... The groom, groom Doom? Groom's Doom. Yeah, something Biscuit, like that. Shortbread. Yeah. Shortbread. Uh, we had that as well. We got that from Frontierland. We really wanted to try the Mickey Halloween... Uh, crisp pumpkin but it all sold out the only thing with Disneyland Paris is sometimes the they, they sell. sell out of the snacks <laughs> we also wanted to try there was that the selection you could get oh yeah that in, was never open I can never remember the name in Victoria's but yeah it was never open when we passed no if anyone knows when Victoria's is open let us know because whenever we've been it's never been open <laughs> um, so I don't know whether it just opens for a few hours a day yeah uh, but yeah, we did try the shortbread biscuit. Yeah, it was it was good. It was a shortbread biscuit with Nutella. Mm-hmm. Uh, not my favourite snack I've ever tried. Um, I thought it was a little bit dry. Um, but I think that was just due to it being shortbread. And it yeah. was quite hard. Doom Burger was nice, but uh, the 30th the burger. The 30th burger. Oh, that's still the best one for me. Yeah. I really wish we'd tried the Maleficent Sunday. Well, you have to go to Lucky Nuggets yeah. Saloon. That looked, that looked like it would have been good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, we did complete it. Oh, I've just realised there's um, there's one that we didn't write down on here, but we said, I remember, when we were doing the bucket list that we were going to include it, and that was to get magic shots. Oh, yes. Which we did. We did. We managed to get two. Uh, both in Frontierland. Three. Three. Yeah, we got the one that was in front of the castle. Oh, yeah, Which we, we uh, the one that's turned, we stumbled across it's all that. black and white, yeah. Mm-hmm. We were so lucky. There was nobody at any no, of them. No, I think it was raining a bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, we got one uh, where we were running. Yeah. And then we got my favourite one with the, the ghosts. Scooby-Doo one. The Scooby-Doo. <laughs> like channeling my inner Scooby-Doo. I was like, <laughs> hell no, was saving me. But yeah, they're so, they're so good. 
Yeah, they were really good. And yeah, we didn't queue for any of them. <laughs> we were really lucky. And then, oh, go on then. You've oh, got to do this one. then last but not least, number 10, that was Bistro Chez Remy. <laughs> tick, tick, tick. We had the most amazing evening there. We hadn't been in a couple of years and mm. it was just so special. Um, it was really relaxing. We were like one of the last slots of the day. We were. I think we were the last people, weren't we? The last people, maybe. Mm. Yeah, and I think we ate around four-ish, um, and the park was closing early that day. And uh, we got our own booth. Yeah, we got the booth. I know we, so... we ate about five-ish, half five, and I think it was closing at seven. Something yeah, because like then we were out by half six. Yeah. To go and ride Spider Man, but uh, yeah, we in the booth with the giant plates. Yeah, we were like. <gasps> We were like being led to the booth and I was like, oh my gosh, because normally they don't give it if you're a couple because oh, okay. we can fit four. Um, but yeah, we were really lucky, had the huge plates behind us yeah. and yeah, the food was great, really enjoyed um, all of the courses. I also got the wine pairings, which I've never done. Yeah, so I think that that's was a good really option, nice. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, like it worked out. I think you got a... Um, did you get a champagne to start? No, it was... It at was, the end. It was red wine... Got white wine red, white, and then champagne yeah white wine with your starter red wine with your um, main or rosé uh-huh. and then champagne for your dessert so yeah it worked out really well um, <laughs> and then also we got a, we got an aperitif oh, non-alcoholic yeah. aperitif because of the annual passes <laughs> had all the liquids <laughs> um, but yeah really enjoyed it again it didn't disappoint and it's probably my favourite yeah, definitely my favourite restaurant. We haven't tried Waltz yet. That no. might tip it. Um, that might uh, what's sway it. it. Sway it. Um, but yeah, it definitely at the moment, Bistro Cher and Me is just... The theming elite. is just... Oh, I, I can't get enough of it. And you just sit there and you're like, oh, what can I see? And at the end of the meal, we did like a little circuit and we just took loads of photos in different spots. And I made a yeah. reel actually as well. If you go on my Instagram or TikTok, I did a reel of the restaurant. Um which is, I really like that reel um, because it just shows it all off. Yeah. So that is it. That is our Disneyland Paris October bucket list recap. (sighs) Unfortunately, it was a nine out of 10. 90% complete. (laughs) That Warriors of Wakanda is going to have to be moved onto the next bucket list. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> and that's what's great about a bucket list is you just move them just Never keep moving them <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then speaking of uh, the Warriors of Wakanda we're hopefully going tomorrow to see no spoilers oh, yes. no spoilers in the comments for anyone that hasn't seen it but we're going to go and see um, Wakanda Forever mm-hmm. very, very excited, excited a lot of people have been raving about it yeah Sad. it's going to be uh, yeah it's going to be an emotional one but I'm really looking forward to it yeah and then there's so much coming out on uh, Disney Plus as well this month uh, there's Disenchanted. Yeah. And then the Santa Claus. The Santa Claus. Well, I think the, ser- the series is called The Santa Clauses. Where is it? I think. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that we decided, so you might remember from a few years ago, we created a Santa badge and it was limited edition on our Etsy store and we've decided to bring it back because mm-hmm. we had a, a few left over. So they are limited. This mm-hmm. is like There's once... Only- only a few left. Once they go, that's it. They're done. We won't be getting any more of them. Yeah, these are limited. If you want to get one, you can head to our Etsy store. Yes, they will all be on there as well as all of our other badges as well. Um, yes. A great little stocking filler if you're looking to purchase them before Christmas. And then I just wanted to mention that uh, coming up on Sunday, so the next video, it is going to be a brief history of... I'm going to keep it a secret. Um, I'm but... very excited for everyone to see this. <laughs> if you've never watched Martin's Brief History videos before, I'm going to plug your videos <laughs> now. Definitely go give them a watch. Um, they're so creative and A, you learn about the Disney rides, but B, they're just so much fun. They have so many different elements to them. And yeah, I just want everyone to watch them because Martin <laughs> puts so much work into them. You've been working on this for about a month now maybe even more four or five weeks like every day and every day <laughs> hours and hours and hours um it's safe to very say very passionate about I've, it i've put everything into this one and uh it's a longer it's a long the longest one yeah that i've done um out of them all it's half an hour episode mm-hmm. so i really hope that you enjoy it <laughs> and it's a ride that i know a lot of you love and um, so if you do see the video pop up on your subscription feed Please do watch it. Um, 
because I know you're gonna love it and Martin has put so much work into it and yeah we're really excited to share it with you. Helen hasn't actually seen the full thing yet. (laughs) No, I've filmed bits of it but I've no idea. I was just told to stand here and say that. (laughs) Uh, But yeah that's it from us for now. If Mm -hmm. you've liked this video hit the like button and also subscribe. Hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time we upload and we will see you with a brief history episode on Sunday. Oh, very, very excited. (laughs) We will see you then. Bye. Toodle, Pipsky. I'll be alive.